This is 2023 Riverside in Trenton. Uh, I like to start out by saying we're trimming all the boxwoods. So that's the easiest thing about this job. Um, out here we'll be changing, we'll be taking out this edge restraint and we'll be putting in our edge restraint here. Um, I got to bring in 200 feet, it'll be less than that, but it was kind of hard to measure. Um, and there's stuff going on in the back. Well, let me start in this. There's more in the front, my bad. Um, he's gonna mark a couple of these stumps. We're gonna bring the stump grinder and we're gonna grind these stumps out. Um, they're hard to locate, but they're somewhere. He'll, he'll, he's gonna locate them and we're gonna grind them out in the front. Um, the sod is going to start here. I'm gonna have 10 yards of dirt delivered and it's about 3,500 square feet of sod. Um, and it's all being sodded through here. This is gonna be gone. And she wants a straight line through here, but she, you're gonna to have to discuss it with her how to make the sod lines. Um, so this is area that's gonna be sodded. These are the boxwoods that need to be trimmed. And they wanna push the grade that way because they're having water come up and over. She might have to move some dirt around. Um, make the circles around the trees, make a circle around that tree. And we're sodding all the way up to the to the deck and bring this area down right here and move it over into the into the grade and get it graded same thing with that over there and in this area we're stump grinding out roots that you see here um, and then this area is the tricky part we want to grade this whole area down below the level of the patio. But we're also removing this patio here and we're gonna rescreed it and relay it. Um, and we're gonna do it and, and they're gonna have a soldier course for us to buy to go around. So you're gonna pick up some extra bricks and then you're going to um, relay it but with the normal herringbone or maybe you can do um, uh, basket weave uh, possibly and you're going to relay it resand it and re edge restrain it with the proper edge restraint and um, the idea is to pick the patio up by a couple inches here so we're really going to be picking it up um, I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be a couple inches but the idea is to pitch it that way to where you know lift it up by whatever it needs to be to overcome this point here so that the water's running off and uh, you're going to make a big impact by lowering this section of the grass. Uh, this section of the pavers can't go up because if you raise this section of the pavers up you have to raise this up even more and we don't want to do that. We just want to get it pitched by lowering the, the grass here and we're going to be raising this probably a portion so that kind of makes this area area sort of awkward but if you notice it is lower there already so you will be able to raise this area a little bit but if this area is raised by let's just say a couple inches it happens to be um, you don't have a couple inches here so you'll have to take a hand um, you have to take your trawl and you'll have to feather it in over here so that's the tricky part of the job um, so if it were me I would run my soldier course just through here and through here. I wouldn't like go all in there and just pave that area the best you can with those pavers. Um, so yeah, I would straighten this out and do regular herringbone. Don't do this 45 herringbone. It's, it doesn't even look 45. It looks more like, I don't know, who knows what it is. Uh, and then this is the whole job. Okay.